good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's funny, we've just walked in from group, uh, been and weighed in and come straight back. Um, just walked in, made myself a, an espresso because I need one today. And the rain is beating on the windows. And I'm planning to go out very shortly and uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right, have you ever had one of those mornings when you really feel like you need an espresso? Well, excuse me, because I do. Oh God, that's strong and that's hot. Um, I'm drinking Zimbabwe at the moment. Is it Zimbabwe? Yeah. yeah. This is Joe's favourite and it was a limited edition and we're down to our last like 60 pods or something. So I'm drinking it sparingly because I leave it for Joe because it is just the nicest Nespresso I've ever had. Uh, Forgive me for drinking on camera. I don't like it when other people do it, I'll be honest. But it's just one of those days when I have got little time and great needs. Oh, I love the creamy bit on that. Right, Let's see if that gets me going today. From the title of this video, you will see that today I gained four pounds. Am I happy about that? Mm, not unhappy. Um, not disillusioned, not disappointed, not anything. It, I deserve it. I've had a very lazy, very lifeless, very listless, very unenthusiastic week. Now I'm going to ask Joe to share his results with you. So you see that this is really? not how, Yeah, come on Joe. He's always so blinking modest. How much weight did you lose today, Joe? Was it four and uh, three quarters? Four and three quarter pounds he lost. I'm really proud of him. And that's because he's more consistent than I am. And that's because he does a lot more than I do. I have had a week of absolutely no energy. And I've woken up this morning after a really good night's sleep with no energy. And I can tell I'm not right because nothing in my body is working properly if you follow my drift. Even my hair is listless and lifeless. And I've used on my hair this morning shampoo that costs £46 a bottle, which is... A bottle lasts me a year and I use it probably once, twice, sometimes three times a week and I intersperse it with shampoo that costs 90p a bottle. So it's not, um, it's something that I really, really like but it's something I don't need to use very much and a litre costs £46 and lasts me a year. So I don't see that as an extravagant, cause it's extravagance because it's way less than a pound a week. But even that didn't do the trick this morning. My hair feels like it hasn't got an ounce of energy in it. And my body feels like it hasn't got an ounce of energy in it. And as I say, nothing about me is functioning this week. I'm going to, let's use the word bowels. I mean, it's not a nice word, but we've all got them. Well, most of us, I suppose. Um, that was a daft thing to say, wasn't it? You know what I mean now. Some people have problems, don't they? I am usually as regular as clockwork. And this week I went five days without going. And that is not me. I, honestly, my body hasn't got the energy to do anything and I don't know why. I even resorted yesterday to watching stuff on YouTube about being malnourished because you can think you're eating well and actually still be malnourished. I don't know if you know anything about that, Joe, But pe people do. and um, we, we don't look at nourishment and what our bodies need. And maybe I need to look at a bit more of that. Maybe I just am tired. Maybe I've just... Christmas has caught up with me. That is something I just want to touch on today. This, this time of year, Christmas and that, everybody thinks it's a time of joy and happiness and love and fun and let's party, let's party. I mean, it's our um, Slimming World Christmas party tonight and it's not something I go to because I'm not into like disco dancing. And I do like dancing, don't get me wrong, but um, I like dancing with my friends who understand me being blind and wouldn't just leave me in the middle of the dance floor when they all walked off and stuff like that. I need the confidence to know that I'm dancing with the right people. Shall, shall I put it that way? Um, my Slimming World party tonight, it will be fabulous and they're a lovely group of people, but they're not used to me as a blind person in that sort of setting. So I know it wouldn't work, so I choose not to go. But I am out all day, well, I'm going out with a friend today and we're going out for a treat for me, which is really lovely, which is um, a birthday present from my friend. So she's taking me out today. I'm also going to spend some of my 
uh, what I call my slimming world of money. You know, I put money away each week for being at or around Target. And I'm still doing it, I still put it away. And when I looked at my account the other day, there's like 650 quid in there, and I thought, you deserve something to get you going with a bit of enthusiasm. And the daft thing is, I don't know if this has been going on for a few weeks in me, um, I haven't wanted to buy clothes, I haven't wanted to spend money on me, and that's that's not me. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm an over-the-top extravagant person because I'm a minimalist, but I do like quality things and I like to be able to say if I see something I need and I know I've got the money, I can have it because I save, I'm a good saver. But I haven't even had the enthusiasm for that kind of thing lately. And I, I just don't know. I think it's something in me to do with Christmas. Over the years I've had hours and hours and hours and hours of counselling, which I've paid for all the time. I've always chosen a counsellor that was the right counsellor for me. I used to go to a guy who was actually um, partially sighted and he taught counselling and he lectured in counselling and he really helped me come to terms with my blindness and lots of other things that have, have been stones around my neck, shall we say, for years. And I believe in counselling and that, but something I've never touched on in counselling, and maybe I need to, is Christmas, because I absolutely loathe Christmas. And I don't mean I'm a Scrooge and I'm a bar humbug and I'm all that. I just don't, I don't enjoy it. I like the present buying, I like the present giving. We went to see my family last weekend and we all exchanged presents and... And I like that, and I like buying for my friends, and, and, and even this year I've enjoyed wrapping up the presents and deliver. you know, I've only got a couple, or a few left to deliver, and exchanging presents with people you love, and receiving presents from people who love you, and I, I enjoy that part, but I just don't enjoy Christmas, and I was lying in bed last night thinking about why don't I enjoy Christmas, why am I like this every year? In fact, I might go back and look at my previous two years' um, videos at this time of year and see if, see if I was talking in a similar fashion because it, it builds up in me and it will burst on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and it often comes out in tears. I can get really upset and I don't know why, except when I was a little girl and we had a loving relationship don't laugh you always me. bring this back to yeah, like you being a childhood. girl and grandma grandma's beating me. on you <laughs> she never beat on me she only ever hit me once in my life that was with a hairbrush and she never did it again because my dad caught her um, but actually it was quite funny at the time but I remember and I think I repeated this when I was a child we would get a massive Christmas sack which was always at the bottom of your bed because Santa left it there and then we'd come downstairs and in the lounge the Christmas tree would be in the corner and the, our, our main Christmas presents would be by the tree and we never went without anything even though my parents didn't have a lot of money my dad worked really hard my mum didn't work in those days because we were little she went back to work when we were a bit older but we never went without and I look back and I can see where they went without so that we didn't and I think that's a normal thing with parents isn't it and I remember all of that, but my biggest memory of Christmas is the fact that the minute you unwrap something, my mum whisked the paper away. It had to be tidy, it had to be tidy. And, then, and when we'd all finished, there's three kids in my family, when we'd all finished unwrapping our Christmas presents, everything had to be put away. And I think to some extent I repeated some of this when Joe was little. Can you remember me being like that? No, not so. I can't remember that much from being a kid. It's not that clear. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Anyway, but I remember that, and I remember that by Christmas Day afternoon, all of my presents would be put away in my bedroom. Because my mum is, I mean, I'm a neat freak. I'm a minimalist neat freak these days, but my mum is the tight, isn't she? Grandma's yeah, grandma home is knows, beautiful, yeah. isn't it? But it's like a show home. She is so, so clean and tidy and neat and precise. And, and that's my memories of childhood and Christmas. My grandparents used to come on Christmas Day and stuff like that, and it, and it was all really, really nice. But it was all, I don't know, it, it, just, it just feels like such an anticlimax to me, Christmas. And I think I'm feeling that this week. I think I'm building up to, but I'm doing it to myself. I'm building up to letting myself down. 
and I don't know why I do it. I'd be interested if anybody else experiences things like this at Christmas. I, I just... So anyway, why, why have I put four pounds on this week when Joe's lost four and three quarters? I, um, I haven't cared really about food that much this week. I've more or less been eating on plan and then choosing to blow it. And then eating on plan and then choosing to blow it. And I had a binge last night, which was totally uncalled for, totally unneeded, totally unnecessary. But at the time, it just felt like the right thing to do. Ten minutes later, it doesn't feel like the right thing to do. This morning, it doesn't feel like you know the right thing to do. But it's what I do when I'm feeling like this. Now, it hasn't left me thinking, oh, God, I've failed or anything like that. But it hasn't made me feel better in the way I was hoping it would. And I feel like I need to give myself a good shake. And, and I'm not standing here in front of you feeling, oh God, down, depressed and miserable. I'm not feeling anything. That's the truth. I'm not feeling anything. And then that doesn't mean my life is bad because I couldn't wish for a better life. I've got everything I need and more besides. So it is just a mood thing with me. It's almost... Do you ever have that feeling when... You've woken up early in the morning and you lie awake for a couple of hours and then you drift off back to sleep and then you wake up a bit later than you should have done and you don't feel quite right all day. It sort of upsets your mood. It's what in our family we call having a black dog hanging over you. And there's no reason for it. It's just a mood issue. That's how I feel today. I feel like even if the person I would love to meet best in the world today I mean, I'm not sure whether that would be Rod Stewart or Andrea Boschelli, walked into this room, I'd be like, oh God, he's not as tall as I thought he'd be. <clears throat> and you can say that about Rod Stewart because he's not. I've seen Rod Stewart and he's not as tall as I thought he'd be. But do you know what I mean? Everything feels like it would be an anti-climax and there's no reason for it. Because I'm sure Rod Stewart's as tall as he needs to be. But everything about me today is like, if somebody walked in this room now and gave me the world, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> so I'm coming on and I'm being really honest about how I'm feeling. And part of me was like, shall I go to group this morning and just do a blind way in? I've heard other people talk about doing this before. And shall I just go into group and I'll just say to Linda, just weigh me, write it in my book, don't tell me what it says, I don't want to know. And then come on my video and say to you, next week I'll tell you what I did this week and next week. And it's like, oh for God's sake, Jane, it's not a game, it's not a competition. Just get real. Okay. It's not a game. It's not a competition. Just get real. Just tell it like it is. Because everybody who watches this video, I would imagine, has had days or weeks like I feel today. You know, this is not a straightforward journey. Even when you're in a good place, you can get a disappointing result. When you're in a place like I'm in today, where you don't know whether you're here, there, or wherever you are, you can get, I could have got you know, a good result, but I'd still feel the same way today because it's about mood. So, what am I going to do about it going forward? Well, I'm going into Nottingham today with my friend. <clears throat> She's taking me out for a treat. I'm not sure what that actually consists of because it's um, a birthday experience rather than a birthday gift. The uh, carousel horses, the big up and down horses, are in our market square in the middle of the Christmas market. I might get her to go on those because I love that. I'm going to buy myself something nice, but you said say that, I'm going to buy myself something nice, but I don't know what I want. Well, that was something I could tell you. I was in um, John Lewis last week, and I've been hanging my nose over this oven-proof Le Creuset dish for weeks, and it's like £28, and I shall I shan't, I shall I shan't, or it would make a nice lasagna dish or a cottage pie dish. And we went to the hospital on Monday, and we got good news at the hospital. Joe doesn't have to go for another five months, which is excellent for us. Um, so we came back into town, and I said to Joe, let's pop into TK Maxx, because at Christmas they usually have a Le Creuset section. Got the same Le Creuset dish in TK Maxx, that was in John Lewis. Recommended retail price £39. John Lewis have got it on offer at 28 and in TK Maxx, recommended retail price, £39. But they were selling it for £12.99. So I got my La Cruze dish. And then I found that in my purse, I've still got all of my birthday vouchers, my John Lewis vouchers and 
Marks and Spencer's vouchers and things from my birthday, which was more than three months ago. So now I'm seeing a picture of like where I've been for the last three months and why my weight isn't where it should be because I am not functioning like my normal self. You know, I'm not shopping like my normal self. I'm not, I haven't been enthusiastic this week. I've hardly been out of the house this week. I haven't wanted to do anything or go anywhere. And that's just not me, is it? So, what am I going to do about it? Well, all I can do is live in the day. All I can do is just function the best I can for today and, and try and snap out of it. So I don't want loads of comments, please, saying, oh, you know, woe is you or anything like that, because it's not woe is me. I mean, some people have it really hard. Some people are really struggling at this time of year with all sorts of emotional needs and financial needs and family problems and health issues. I haven't got anything like that going on in my life. I'm just, I don't know, just not quite in the zone, shall we say. I've had a week of being 5% out on everything I've done. I've done nothing but walk into things. I've got so many bruises down this side. And um, I just know that this is not how I should be. But I can't take any drastic action to change me. I've just got to wait for it to cycle to turn and to feel better, um, in a better mood, shall we say. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has so far sent me cards and presents for Christmas. You're, you're lovely, generous people. I'm not going to name anybody because it, it, it's not right to do that. But just to say, it is so lovely to know that people think about you and, and say such nice and kind things. So let me just see where Joe is. Joe, are you coming? It's just, why do we disappear when you need them? I'm standing here thinking, how do I turn the camera off? How do I say goodbye and turn the camera off? Right, I'm going. Just hold me in your prayers and think, hope she's in a better place next week. So for me, four pounds on. For Joe, four and three quarter pounds off. And another week. Another week close to Christmas. And thank God it'll soon be over. We'll see you next week. Sorry for my rambling. Sorry for my mood. Hope I didn't get anybody down. But hey, that's life. See you soon. Bye.